All right, so next we're going to work on the eyebrows. Let's select our mesh, create a description. Email, eyebrow, demo, place and guides. It's going to be in our same collection. Let's create some eyebrows. So the way eyebrows usually work is that they kind of go inward to create like a like a little teepee. And they go this way. So we'll do is start brushing some of these hairs one at a time. You don't need too many, just a couple work. Whenever you have some trouble hairs, you can create more guides and that'll kind of make your groom go more towards where you want it to go. So then we go out and a little bit in. Preview it real quick. Oh, that it's a demo, so I'll just do it really quickly. Nothing perfect. Usually I don't work this fast, but for demonstration purposes. All right, so say these are your eyebrows. This is not looking good, but you usually have to spend a good amount of time on this. So let's go over the steps again. We'll create a density. Start black. Turn on some wireframe. Let's go white right here. Oh, and if you ever start white and you decide you want to go black, just flood the area by switching here and flood paint. So what you can do is paint it. Uh, oh yeah, press B to scale your brush and just paint a nice mask. And then you save it, preview. And let's grease. So yeah, nothing too bad. I'll show you some more tricks. So if you want to just flood an area and not worry about like painting it and you just know it's like on this geometry only, just select it. You can select normally, I just use the paintbrush sometimes. This is where a tablet comes in handy too. So switch to the regular selection tool. Use isolate select. Now we can just Go to here, and then, then we'll just grab a brush, a nice hard one, and just go at it. Oops, wrong button. Then you save, and there you go. I'll show you another cool trick. If you want to just copy it over, I'll just select my guides. Utilities, we're going to do guides to curves. We'll keep them, create curves. So now over here in our outliner, you can click here to get the outliner. Select the copies. I when I like to duplicate things over, this is just my thing. I'll control G, group it, channel box, they go to one in the X. And then I can go back to XGen, 
and switch from curves to guides. And oops. Oh, one more thing I forgot to talk to you guys about. It's when painting. Let's uh, erase our paint first. Flood black. So there is symmetry, which I forgot to turn on. In the tool settings, go down to stroke, reflection, X. So now you have two brushes. Do something like that, whatever you want. Usually with eyebrows, you have more of a soft this since you'll get some random hairs. Let's save it. Go through the whole process of switching the wisps and everything. Slime. All right, yeah, you guys get the point. One other map we can use is, so some of these other um, sliders have these function buttons. So say you wanted your length to be a little shorter on the ends, you can go to the length, click on the little down arrow, create map, and say length eyebrows, start black or gray. So as we see, gray is like super short. So let's flood it with, oh, as you can see, the length is based on a number, the black value. So if it's black and save, it's like the length is zero. If we go up to say 0.1, kind of get that. Let's see what happens when we go straight up to white. You get what you had before. So let's say we want to be half as long towards the edges. So we'll just go to 0.5 or right here, 0.5. Well, first set your maximum length, I'd say. Let's see what else I got, 0.5. Oh, that's not too bad. So let's say we want a little bit shorter. Let's try 0.25 and we'll paint the edges this don't worry about the rest of this since our hair is only growing over here anyway to say we want the edges to have a little bit shorter hairs we'll just do something like this and again use tablet so as you can see the hairs are getting shorter towards where i paint this and you can use the opposite and make them longer if you want to Oops. Like that. And once you're done, just switch back to your selection tool. There you go. Another important, another cool trick is if you ever worry about like say deleting your history or something, I like to select all my guides and export them out as curves, maybe like as an FBX or OBJ. And when you wanna share your stuff, you wanna Select your your collection, and you have to export descriptions or collections. So I like to export the collection since it's everything, not just a couple of them. And it will export as a .xgen file. So that's good if you want to back it up, just in case, because things can get messy if you like say change the geometry or do the history or change the material. It could be touchy, so make sure you work clean. Uh, 
let's touch on the eyelashes real quick. Let's uh, switch our symmetry on for Maya. So eyelashes, they, uh, they're they around the eye. <laughs> right about there. So let's create a description, create description, eyelashes, place shaping guys. Oops, lashes demo. Uh, female demo. That's great. All right, not working. All right, you guys select your mesh. Create description. Eyelash female demo. Lay shaping guides. Create. Let's select those faces again. Thanks, Maya, for remembering my selection. Let's isolate that. And then you can create a little mask. Start black. There we go. For some reason symmetry was selecting more than the faces. So I'll just do my eyelashes one geomet one like quad long since you don't want it to be too thick paint. Let's go with whites. There we go. Right there. And there. Okay, save it. Save it. <laughs> and let's see what we get. Oh, we gotta create some guides actually. So I like to start right here. Oh, it also might be smart to do bottom lashes and upper lashes. That way you can control them individually since like some upper lashes are shorter than others. And or I mean lower lashes are shorter than upper lashes. So they generally point down. Let's pull them, hold B, change your brush size. Point that word a little bit. Point them down, curve a little bit. And up we go. Since you get a little curve to them. And again, I'm doing this quickly. You want to put a little more finesse and time into this. See what it looks like. Oh, that's not right. Oh, we need the upper lashes too. Let's create that. I would just start with just a couple, and then I'll add more curves in. It's like these. That way, when we sculpt, they only get affected. Let's go up. Let's preview them now. Got increased density. Make them thinner. You can always go more than 100. Just gotta type it in. 
So, yeah, that's why I make eyelashes. <laughs> um, make them shorter, longer. I found that with eyelashes, you really just need to clump them up real nice. Just study the, the reference. Let's see, so we're gonna need a lot more than that. Let's try 10. Generate. Uh, maybe even more. Let's try 50. Uh, sure. Let's save that. So yeah, you get a little bit closer and closer to real eyelashes. Just gotta go through the whole process again. Almost all hairs are have this curve to it, where it's thin, not so thin, then thin, thinner. So you know, play with, play around with that. Use some of the modifiers, noise, cut. So you don't want it to be all the same. See you in the next lesson.